Hi, welcome back to another review by Optic Straight. Today I will go through some characteristics uh, about these binoculars. I have here Minox binoculars in configuration 8x44 and Series X HD. So I will talk about some uh, main characteristics and at the end tell you about the things that I like about these binoculars and things that could be improved. But first of all, I would like to say uh, thank you to all of our viewers uh, because without you watching our reviews and all our videos, uh, this wouldn't be possible. So Minox is a German company. Uh, it was founded in 1945. It currently produces optics for nature and wildlife observation. We have binoculars, rifle scopes, spotting scopes. Uh, they also have digital trail cameras and a night vision equipment. So about the series, XHD is a new series. Uh, it was launched in 2020. Uh, and before that, uh, the series, the same binoculars uh, were called BLHD. Now we have three models in the series. We have this 8x44, then 10x44, and uh, low light binoculars 8x56. Now these are uh, among the most affordable binoculars that are made in Germany, which is also written here loud and clear um, on the iCup. They, these binoculars weigh uh, 740 grams, uh, which is uh, quite normal for this configuration. Firstly, I have to talk about the configuration. So we have eight by 44, which means we have 44 millimeter objective lenses. Uh, this is not normal. We have uh, mainly binoculars with 42 millimeter objective lenses. Uh, so these that are two millimeters uh, more big, are um, produce brighter images uh, so it could be noticeable in uh, low light situations like in uh, at the dusk um, but I think two millimeters doesn't uh, doesn't um, give more weight uh, to these binoculars than compa when compared to 8 by 40 42 so these are as I said <clears throat> se uh, 740 grams um, they are 15.5 centimeters long and 16, uh, sorry, 16 uh, centimeters uh, when we have the uh, eyepieces fully um, open. Uh, and they, the width is around 13.5 centimeters. Now, as you can see from really far away, these are classic Minox design. Uh, all black with silver details. Uh, we have polycarbonate housing, uh, which is very ro robust, rubber armor. Um, the build quality of this is really nice. I really like the feel uh, that, give, that they give to your hands. Uh, and as you can see, we have, we have open bridge design, which means uh, you can put your fingers here uh, and hug the binoculars with one hand uh, for easier and quicker handling. They are also waterproof and fog proof. Uh, they are filled with dry nitrogen uh, to prevent any internal fogging when using these binoculars at lower temperatures. Now moving on to optical properties. We have Schmidt pack and roof prisms, uh, which makes these binoculars really compact. ED lenses, so extra low dispersion glasses, and 44 millimeter objective lenses, uh, as I said before, contribute to more brighter image than uh, those with 42 millimeter objective lens. We have really wide field of view with this, 136 meters at 1000 meters. So they are competing against some um, really more uh, expensive models in 8x42 um, configurations. Uh, we have really sharp image in the center, 
the edges are a bit distorted, but also quite sharp. Uh, vivid colors, full of contrast. Uh, there is some little uh, chromatic aberration noticeable when you're looking at white objects. And we have 2.5 meters of close focus distance, so you can also observe insects or butterflies with this. Now, where to use these binoculars? I would suggest hunting or even bird watching uh, because of the big field of view, but basically because of the standard configuration, so 8x44, these are suitable for all kinds of observations in the mountains, uh, on safari, uh, basically any type of observations. Now focusing, uh, we have this big central focusing knob, uh, which is has fluid turning. We have roughly 1.5 turns. Uh, what's interesting is that uh, we have configuration here written and when you're turning the focusing knob uh, it stays at the same place. It only turns when you're adjusting the uh, barrels. We have here a um, plastic uh, diopter ring and to see the setting you have to turn up the um, eye cup and here you can see uh, the uh, setting so you just turn the knob to see where you have the setting and then close the eye cup if you're of course a uh, glasses wearer. Now the eye cups are rubber, uh, rubberized and twist up twist up so they can be twisted up um, they have one two and three stop positions so they are suitable for different users they are quite hard to the touch I wouldn't know for for the prolonged use maybe this could be a bit uncomfortable but nevertheless they feel really secure they hold the position very well so I I like the the design. Now let's talk about what you get when you purchase these binoculars. So of course you get rubber objective lens covers. I really like the quality and the ability to uh, attach them on barrels. So there is no fear of losing them when using your binoculars. It also has Minox uh, logo printed on them. Then we have objective, uh, sorry, eyepiece lens covers, which are also made out of rubber, nice, soft, uh, to protect your eyepieces. Then we have padded neck strap uh, to carry your binoculars around your neck. Multiple instructions and quality control uh, and uh, about your warranty and technical data here uh, and you get binoculars in this soft padded case um, which also has a belt loop here but there is no strap for the case so uh, Minox offers um, 10 years of warranty if you register your product on their webpage. Uh, and these binoculars are currently available for 779 euros of regular price. Now we've come to the end and some things I really like about these binoculars are that they are among the most affordable binoculars that are made in Germany, so made in Europe. Um, build quality, I really like the build quality, they, they really feel nice and secure in your hands. Open bridge design, of course this contributes to more easy handling uh, and holding your binoculars with one hand without the fear of dropping them. Uh, we also have decent optical performance and really really wide field of view. Maybe there isn't so many things that could be improved at this price range. Um, but I would have to say for 780 euros, 
I would expect more um, more quality uh, accessories. So maybe a bag with some uh, strap and a bit more structured and a cleaning cloth at least. There's no cleaning cloth included. Um, but overall, these are a great pair of binoculars for 780 euros that are made in Germany and by Minox, uh, which is a renowned optics producer. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our other videos. We also have, in, if you're interested in standard configuration binoculars, so 8x42 and 10x42, um, check out our buying guide on the these kind of binoculars so uh, you you'll have a um, more easy decision uh, on which binoculars to purchase so thank you and see you next time bye